no longer understand your people, Mummy. Maybe it is time to hand it over to the next generation. Oh, don't be ridiculous. In countless movies and TV shows about the Queen, it's a lingering question. Who was she, really? Ben Mankiewicz is our man in Hollywood. We're going out incognito. Does the tiara rather give the game away, ma'am? Yes. There's the playful princess. Queen! The restrained ruler. I am protecting the constitution. I am protecting democracy. And the queen with a quick and biting wit. Well, you obviously know my job better than I do. Yes, well, you are my 10th prime minister, Mr. Blair. For seven decades, the queen was the face of Great Britain, but that face betrayed little, making her an ideal canvas for actresses playing her on the screen, both big and small. You know, she's such a great subject for filmmakers and television directors because what they've got is a blank slate waving to the public. Ella Taylor is a longtime film critic and an adjunct professor at the USC School of Cinematic Arts. She gave away nothing of her real personality in life. I don't think any of us knows anything about the Queen. Her job was to follow protocol in public, and that's an absolute bonanza because they can just go nuts with it. There, grief. If you imagine I'm going to drop everything and come down to London before I attend to my grandchildren who've just lost their mother, then you're mistaken. Dame Helen Mirren seized that blank canvas and ran off with an Oscar for playing Elizabeth and the Queen from 2006. In a Sunday morning interview in 2015, Mirren told Lee Cowan her inspiration wasn't real life, but her own imagination. I'm just doing a portrait. It happens to be a portrait on film, but it's a portrait. It's not her. It's our understanding of her. And when you're an artist, you are in there. You can't not be in there. So I thought that was an acceptable way to approach it. Met the Queen, as I understand it now. Mm. What was that like? Did she? I got major what, what we call Queenitis, which <laughs> is when you see the Queen, you just, you just become this babbling idiot. You start sort of saying things like, it, it, it was such fun, wasn't it? You know? <laughs> On the Emmy Award-winning Netflix series, The Crown, there are three versions of Elizabeth. Claire Foy as the young Royal Highness. Olivia Coleman, who we were on set with in 2019, captures the queen in monarchical middle age. Now, much more importantly, who is Billy Joel? Billy Joel. Oh, Joel? Yes, uptown girl. What are you talking about? I'm delighted to be here, inheriting the role of Queen Elizabeth from two outstanding actresses. Next season, Elizabeth will be played by Imelda Staunton. Hopefully, I look calm, collected and capable. My stomach, meanwhile, is doing somersaults. I never got to meet the Queen, and I always wished I had had that experience. John Lithgow won an Emmy for The Crown, playing Winston Churchill opposite Claire Foy. Your Majesty. Claire Foy is a wonderful actress. She brought youth. She brought this wonderful, tremulous trepidation. Very well, I will discuss it with Cabinet. No. You will inform the Cabinet, Prime Minister. The scenes between Claire and me were gradually seeing her assert her authority over him. I would ask you to consider your response in light of the respect that my rank and my office deserve, not that which my age and gender might suggest. So it became a very particular kind of family drama. And who knows, maybe it's accurate. I don't mean that life shouldn't be agreeable, but we can't possibly all be happy all of the time. So many good actresses have played Elizabeth. Emma Thompson. Your Majesty. Mr. Cameron. Kristen Scott Thomas. Extraordinary. Yes. Never seen anything like it. Sarah yes, Gadden in the romantic Thompson. comedy A Royal Night Out. Price, you may be a captain, but I am a princess. And the queen has been fodder for comedy, too. Go! On The Simpsons. 
the Queen's in trouble. Saturday Night Live. You think you could just, like, show up and take over, yeah? Do a bit of Queen in a night, right? Uh. And multiple times by British actress Jeanette Charles, most notably in The Naked Gun. She came across so adorably. With the Queen of England ready to toss out the first ball. And the commentator says, how about the Queen? <laughs> <You know? Right. laughs> Which only an American could right. pull off. Four-time Oscar-nominated actress Jane Alexander played Elizabeth in a Hallmark TV movie. I have been a lifelong devotee of Elizabeth from the time she was a princess in World War II. Alexander's father was a doctor serving in London during the Blitz and later in France after the invasion of Normandy. A teenaged Elizabeth, she says, inspired young people in Britain and America to support the war effort. My mom would say, come, Jane, the princesses are on. And you'd hear these little high voices talking like this. It will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. And they were talking about the war effort and what we could do as children. And it really inspired those of us in that household. It's very... I just want to stop you guys. And just say as I spoke to Jane on Thursday, producer Gabe Falcon interrupted with news that it was official. The Queen had died. How do you react to that news that uh, she's passed right as in the middle of, of our conversation? I'm sorry, Ben. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I. It's really the, the end of an incredible person for me, for all of us, for so many who have followed her all her life. She just meant a lot to me in terms of who you could be if you set out to be. Always a mistake to assume just because people are privileged, they lack grit. Though Elizabeth is gone, these performances live on. There is no possibility of my forgiving you. The question is, how on earth can you forgive yourself? And that, says John Lithgow, will only cement her legacy. I think that's the magic. Whether it was an extreme version of shyness or just the wisdom and self-knowledge of knowing this is my role, and it's a very veiled role. We just cannot know her, but we really miss her.